Good afternoon, YouTube family. It's Shirley coming to you with a full look from beginning to end. So I'll start with my primer and my Wet n Wild um, brush. Uh, the primer I was using was Smash Box, which is really good. And now I'm just going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Ebony to do my brows as quickly as possible. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful month of June. I totally appreciate all of the love and support that I've been getting from you beautiful sisters and brothers that I have here on the YT. It's just a blessing to have you guys and have a wonderful atmosphere of a community uh, available to just chit chat on a, on a normal basis. So I'm very, very excited and just wanted to let you guys know that I do love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I'll be using a cream contour, which I haven't used in a while. So now I'll be in the Revol uh, Revolutions cream contour palette in one of my flat brushes that I have. And I'll start from the areas where I do have dark circles first. And then I'll use the one that's closer to my skin tones to get uh, the darker blemishes around my cheeks, forehead, chin area before I actually put on the foundation. Just to even it out so that the foundation doesn't have to work so hard and I don't have to apply so much of the foundation as well. How are you guys doing? How's everything coming along? I'll be using this powder that I have not used in a long time. And it is a nice red color, but I will try to adjust and see what I can do with it. Um, <laughs> so I switched out the setting power and I went back to L'Oreal. Just applied a little bit of it all over. And now I'll be using another, no, it's the same palette. I'll, I'll be doing the contour uh, portion now prior to the foundation. I'm doing this reverse thing that everybody's doing. So I'm gonna just test it out to see if it works and then adjust from there. And I completely forgot how to use the cream contour. So it's gonna be a lot of adjustments that I'll be doing right now. <laughs> it was a little heavy handed there. So I'm doing this reverse where you put all of the settings and the contour first before you before you actually put down the foundation. And I kind of like it. It's not too bad uh, for me, especially if you have oily skin like myself. And now I'm using the L flat brush to apply the MAC in W44, which I love dearly purchased from Ulta recently and I am in love with the foundation. Here's another MAC blush that's just real pretty and shimmery that I'm just going to put all over my face but I did focus in the cheek area. It just has a beautiful uh, finish. It's nice and shimmery. Now I'll be using the Becca See if I could do a little bit of a touch up on the sides, nose, and chin area. See, I'm going to be using the silicone for the first time, but not as a foundation. I was trying to attempt to use it as a um, setting powder again, which was a complete fail, but definitely will attempt to use it again for... I guess uh, concealer uh, for my July look. I'll try to attempt to use it again. Let's see how that works. This is another rep. This might as well be a revolution uh, look. It's another uh, palette from Revolution that I'll be using for eyeshadow. I am using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. For my eyes and then I'll apply the eyeshadow to 
using the BH Cosmetic Blending Brush and a washi tape that I got from my craft station that I decided I had purchased the um the actual the real one I guess the one that you you're supposed to use but I misplaced it I'm not sure where it is so I just decided to pull one of my washies from <laughs> my craft area and use it it's really nice it it's it's not tight or um, sticky or anything at all. It really helps a whole lot. So definitely I would recommend if you have any washies hanging around to use it if you ever want it to have a really nice edge or really uh, start learning how to do a wing, which is going to be my next step of, of <laughs> process. I'm going to learn how to actually do a wing liner uh, during the summer so hopefully I'll be able to show you guys how I've attempted to do that all right What am I looking for? Oh, I'm sorry that I'm in and out of focus. Okay, I'm getting that nice brick color to use on the center lid for the silicone eye, also for the bottom. Really enjoyed uh, making this color creation. It's really nice and vibrant, uh, especially for the summer, spring. Really liked how it came out. It's the first time that I just went on a whim with things, so just playing with makeup. I took the washies, the washi tape off, and now I'm just doing this primer for the bottom lashes, and um, that really helped with the bottom lashes to extend a little bit. Not much, but it really helped out when I finally did apply the mascara. And I am using the Maybelline Vaughn. be using that's the lash glue for one of the lashes that I got from where did I get from from wish actually one of my favorites so I'll be I'm so sorry that it is out of focus at this very moment and there we go learn with lashes you just have to keep playing with it before it sets play with it until you could it feels right I've been doing this every Friday and Saturday just to practice and learn how to really apply them in a faster matter where it doesn't take too long and I'll be using one of my lip liners in the color purple I really like those lashes though, so they're really, really nice. And um, this is one of the lip gloss that I really like from LA Girl. It's a lip paint, which is gorgeous for the summer. I just thought it was lovely. I love the color, love the vibrance of it. And um, it's very pretty. I'm just putting a little bit of highlight and a little bit of blush by MAC. And then I finally put my unit. The very moment you put a unit on, your whole demeanor changes. I mean, it changes for me. And I just believe I'm a whole nother person. So it's just 
a love that I have. Um, but it just gives me a different feel every time I do put an, a new unit on. This is not new, but this is one of my favorite ones that I've been using recently. And I don't like for it to be too heavy or too full because it's too hot for that. And this was my look for June. Hopefully you guys like it. This still looks like it's not combed, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed the look this was from beginning to end i haven't done this in a very long time so i definitely wanted to show you how i did it from all the way from the top to the bottom be a blessing to other you guys love you guys bye